This month in Red Studio, I want to talk about the web development in Delphi offer that Embarcadero have going at the moment. Uh, I also want to talk about or give an update on the uh, Code Partners customer t-shirt um, offer that we put up on our website in late December. Uh, and lastly, I want to uh, explain a little bit about the Interbase VAR program and why you might care about it even if you don't use Interbase. Thanks for joining me this episode. Um, my name is Malcolm Groves from Code Partners. Before we get into those topics, uh, I just want to take a minute to talk actually a little bit about these videos. Um, I've had a few uh, questions from people, maybe complaints, uh, about why I don't do these videos more frequently. And the simple explanation is, well, the short explanation is because I'm slack. Um, but maybe the more useful explanation is because they're actually really time consuming. The end result may not tell you that because I realize they're not super polished. Uh, they're not really meant to be. They're meant to be a conversation. Um, but despite their lack of um, polish, they actually take a lot of time in the editing process, um, cutting out all of the mistakes that I make and the words that I fumble over, uh, that kind of stuff. Um, so I was thinking about it over summer here, and uh, I do want to do them more frequently. So what I've decided to do this month is a bit of an experiment. I'm actually recording this one live, and I'm not cutting out any of the fumbling. Um, I'm managing, I've set it up a combination of some software and a, a little bit of Delphi code that I've written. Um, I've set it up so that I can drive all the titles and the screen switching and all that sort of stuff um, myself. Um, so it's a bit of an experiment uh, to see if uh, the result, whether you guys can put up with the result. Um, so let me know uh, in the comments here or, or you know, I, via email or whatever, I'll give you all those details later on, if this was too annoying, if my ums and ahs and uh, you know, pauses while I frantically try and think of the right word or me glancing off screen while I, I press a button to change titles or that sort of stuff. Let me know if all of that's too annoying. If it's not, if you can put up with it, what it means is that a, a 10 minute video like this um, can go from instead of taking four or five hours of editing and all the rest of it to get recorded and posted for you guys, maybe a 10 minute video can only take me like 20 minutes or, or 25 minutes to do. Yeah. So if it's not too annoying, more annoying than normal, um, then it means that I can do these much more frequently. Okay. So let me know. Anyway, enough about the mechanics of this video. Uh, the first topic I actually wanted to talk about, as I mentioned before, is this web development in Delphi promotion that uh, Embarcadero have going at the moment. Um, what this is, is uh, like they often have sort of promotions going where you get some sort of um, discount. Um, this month, it's a little bit different. Um, if you have a look on our website, we've got a special offers page. And at the moment, it explains the offers that, that are available uh, uh, to people who are buying Delphi and SeaBuilder and Red Studio. Now, if you're buying Delphi, SeaBuilder or Red Studio Pro licenses, this is license only, not, not um, update subscription renewals. Uh, if you're buying Delphi, SeaBuilder or Red Studio Pro licenses, then there's a discount. Okay, so that's not terribly hard to understand, 15% discount. If you're buying Enterprise or Architect, in addition to the discount, the discount's still there, but you also get to choose a, a full license for one of these three um, web development frameworks that, that are available for Delphi. Uh, they're IntraWeb, uh, TMS WebCore, and UniGUI. Now, you only get to choose one. You don't get all three of them. Um, but they're full licenses, uh, and so it's not, they're not limited. There's not, um, you know, they're not trial versions or little cut down special editions or anything like that. Yeah. Now, if you are interested in doing web, de web development in Delphi, and we get a lot of questions like this from, um, from customers, uh, these three frameworks at least are worth looking at. There are others. Um, 
But the thing about these three frameworks is they take quite different approaches. So it's worth understanding uh, their different approaches and which one lines up better with what you're trying to do. Yeah, they're not, one's not better than the other. It just depends on what you're trying to achieve and what skill sets you've got and how each of these lines up with that. Yeah, some of them make much heavier use of the, the, the actual Delphi compiler and IDE that, that you're used to. Um, and even um, the, the, the components. Um, others uh, take much more of a sort of native web development approach, um, but, but have using a language which is super similar to Delphi and a framework which is super similar to the VCL, for example, yeah? So it's worth understanding um, these different options. Now, how do you understand those? I've put links in the show notes below to a few different uh, YouTube videos. So for example, there's a uh, YouTube video here um, that is one of the links, which is a webinar. It's an hour long, but you probably don't have to watch the whole thing in order to get a feel for these products. Um, but it's a webinar covering IntraWeb and WebCore. Yeah. Uh, and then there's another one that I've also linked to below, which is a, a full webinar on how Unigui works. Yeah. So I think if you are interested in web development um, and especially if you are have maybe also been kind of thinking about buying a new license of of delphi or or c builder or or um red studio yeah maybe you're a few versions behind and you were thinking about getting current um, this might be a good time to have a look at this now the promotion runs through till the middle of uh february uh, it's like the 13th or the, or the 14th. I think it's the, the, the 13th US time the promotion runs to. Um, my understanding is that it's a global promotion. Um, so wherever you are, this is probably available to you. Um, but obviously, I'm mostly aware of our territory. Um, so if you're somewhere outside of Australia, New Zealand and Southeast Asia, then maybe check with your local reseller or your local um, Embarcadero office. Um, but like I say, if you've been thinking about doing web development or you've got an existing product and you want to look at how you can add some web capabilities on as a sort of a companion to it or as a supplement to it, um, this might be an interesting time to check out some of these webinars, have a look at which of these products interests you, and then maybe talk to either us or your local uh, partner, your local reseller about this offer yep, and how you can take advantage of it. Cool. All right, uh, next thing that I wanted to talk about was the Code Partners uh, customer t-shirt offer. Um, we uh, posted on our website in late December, I think it was like the 17th or the 18th of December, just before Christmas, uh, where basically our customers, whether they were renewals customers or um, uh, license customers from 2020, um, could grab uh, one of these t-shirts. Um, we also sent out emails directly to the customers who qualified. Now, I uh, expected that this offer would be maybe popular. Um, uh, there's a picture of the t-shirt and the post on our website. I kind of thought we might take four or five days to get rid of all of the t-shirts that we had. Um, I actually wasn't even sure that we would get rid of all of the t-shirts that we had. I wasn't, didn't know how popular it was going to be. Uh, it turns out it was extremely popular. Um, instead of taking four or five days to go through all of the t-shirts, we went through them in the space of about 30 or 40 minutes. Um, what that means is that some people missed out. Apologize for that. Uh, we had limited stocks and we did send out the emails to all of the qualifying customers uh, at the same time, but I'm sorry if you missed out. Next time we do this, and we will do it again uh, with probably a different design. Um, next time we do this, I'll make sure we get more t-shirts. Um, now have a better understanding of, um, of the demand. Um, the second thing that happened is that just because it was just before Christmas and it was just around the time that we, uh, that in Sydney, we got extra um, COVID restrictions for, for a period of time. Um, it was just before Christmas. I wasn't um, super keen on sending anyone down to the post office, including me, um, to to uh, deliver these um, uh, uh, 
t-shirts to the post office. Um, so they weren't sent out until just recently. Um, most of them have now gone out as of uh, late last week. Most of them have now gone out. There's still some here that, that I think are mostly the overseas ones um, that, that should go out this week. Um, but they're either in the post as of late last week or they're just about to be. Okay, so if you're wondering where they are, if you're wondering, you know, was was this a some sort of bizarre um, joke? It wasn't a joke. <laughs> they have gone out. It's just me being a combination of falling into Christmas holidays and not wanting to spend all that time packaging up T-shirts and also being a little hesitant to uh, to uh, send anyone down to the post office. Cheers. All right. So sorry about that, uh, but it's on the way. Okay, lastly, I want to talk a little bit about the Innerbase VAR program. Um, before you turn off, if you're not using Innerbase, you may be thinking, okay, this is where I jump out of the, um, out of the video. Just give me a couple of minutes. Just, I just want to explain what this is about. Um, Innerbase is a SQL database. Yeah, I think even if you don't use it, people who've been around these products for long enough have seen it often enough that, you know, that to know that it's a, a SQL database. Yeah. Um, the thing about Innerbase is it's been purposely designed and and used mostly by people who are embedding it inside their applications. Yeah. So if you have an application that you sell to customers, maybe it's a point of sale system or a medical management system or, or something like that. Yeah. Um, if you've got an application that you sell out to your end users, you might need a database in it. That's exactly the scenario that Innerbase has been developed for, um, especially around the issues of being lightweight um, and also being low admin. Yeah? So Innerbase tends to just run. Yeah? Um, you don't have to be constantly in there um, ad having an admin logging in and doing stuff to it to keep it running and for the most part it just tends to run that's with all of our customers i think bar maybe one or two are vars who are embedding it inside of their applications and a big part of the reason they do that is because their customers don't even know about it yeah um, it just works quietly sits in the background They're, if you walked up to their customers and asked them about innerbase they wouldn't know what you were talking about yeah now so all of that aside What's an Innerbase VAR program? Well, because 99% of the Innerbase customers around the world are VARs, VAR stands for Value Added Reseller. It's, it's what I was talking about. Because they are people who, ISVs typically, who are embedding it inside their application, for them, they, they want a few things. Yeah? They want um, the ability to do a silent install. You know, they want they want licensing which doesn't require their end users to have to register Interbase. Yeah, they want it just to quietly get installed, work, and their customer to know about their product, not Interbase. Yeah, so you, part of the VAR program is it gives you licensing and silent install details and all that sort of stuff. How you can set it up just as part of your application script. Um, the other thing that the VAR program does give you is pricing. Yeah. Um, Embarcadero, uh, always, but especially lately, um, are very motivated to make sure that Interbase VAR pricing lines up with your product pricing, how you license your product. Yeah. So, for example, we're working with one customer out here at the moment who's switching their application from using another database to Interbase. And one of the things we've been talking about with them and Interbase, uh, with, with them and Embarcadero is how to make sure that the, the, the licensing pricing and structure for Interbase matches and is compatible with how they uh, charge their customers and license to their customers. Yeah. Um, to make sure it lines up with, you know, if they let their customers run it on multiple machines, then, then Interbase needs to do that. Uh, if they charge a monthly subscription for their customers, then Innerbase needs to do that. Yeah. So if you're in that scenario where you are an ISV, um, you're embedding your database in your application um, and looking for something which is um, high performance, low admin, and also works across multiple um, sort of deployment structures. In, one of the nice things about Innerbase is you can go from compiling it into your application on mobile or desktop right through to 
uh, running it on a server in the cloud. Yep. And in the same database, all you do really is change your connection string. Yep. If any of that's interesting, I've got one other uh, uh, video for you to watch. Um, on the Embar I'll put a link in it below on the uh, Embarcadero Technologies YouTube um, page. Uh, there's an Interbase VAR webinar. Yeah. So have a watch of that if, if any of that sounds interesting. Um, otherwise, if you're in our territory, reach out, have a chat to us. Um, we can talk about how this might work. Okay. All right. That's enough. Um, so that's it for, that's all the topics I wanted to talk about this month. As I said before, this month sort of live recording is an experiment. So if it's been super annoying and, and you just can't imagine yourself uh, watching another episode like this um, because of my fumbles and ums and ahs and all that sort of stuff, just let me know. Uh, give me the fe that feedback. If, however, it's been fine and, and you, you don't care too much about that, if it means that I can do this more frequently, then also let me know that. Um, as usual, how do you let me know? Well, you can comment on the video if you're here, if you're uh, either watching it on our website or uh, watching it on YouTube. Otherwise, there's links in the show notes below um, talking about it, all of our link, all of our accounts on social media. So whether it's Facebook or Twitter or Instagram or wherever you prefer to uh, to interact with us. Um, there's links below, please do that. If you'd like to get notified when there's a new video, um, then just subscribe below and, and hit the notify button and then you'll get told when there's a new video. Okay. Otherwise, thank you very much. Uh, have a great month. Uh, if you're in my part of the world, it's summer. So enjoy the summer. If you're somewhere else where maybe it's not so warm, it'll only be a couple of months until it's warming up where you are. So happy coding this month and... Uh, Join us for the next episode of This Month in Red Studio. Cheers. Mm -hmm.